Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and we are still here with our Pokemon Legends Arceus playthrough on the channel. In the last episode, we were basically trying to do a lot of the side quests and get some of that stuff taken care of. Maybe get a little experience for our little Geodude, who is very, very close to evolving, but we're not quite there just yet. It seems a lot of the side quests we have right now, the, the requests, I should say, are going to take place in the new area, the Crimson Mire Lands, which I've only taken a quick look at, but today is the day we're going to go there and see what's happening. We'll focus on the main story first, and then I'll start doing the side quests off screen. Before I do that, though, I want to point out, uh, I haven't really paid much attention to the town, but I've noticed that things are getting constructed. Like, there used to be a bunch of scaffolding on our galactic headquarters here. Sorry, galaxy headquarters here. And uh, that's all gone, and look, we got a nice Magikarp statue, or, uh, I got, yeah, statue, I was gonna say monument up at the top. And not only that, we have another one over here, but what I like is next to it, we have the Galarian Weezing. That's pretty cool, I like that. All right, so if you're excited for a new area to explore in the Hisui region, smack down that like button down below. Let me know of your interest, and I appreciate your support on the series as we see what's going to happen next as we head out to the Crimson Mire Lands. We're going to head out to the Mire Lands camp, indeed, because we only have the one option. I'm sure as we explore this area, we'll find more, but there are a number of Pokemon we have to pick up here as far as the requests go. There is a three-leafed Pokemon, which I'm not sure what that would be. That probably, I'm thinking, Petalil. Uh, we got to catch a male and female Hippopotops. And we have to find three hardy grains, which I'm assuming is an item here that uh, I haven't yet found. Now, before I go any further, I realized just after uh, saving last time there, I didn't store away all the items that I don't need right now. So we're going to do just that in case we find new rare items out here. Again, excitement builds for the whole crafting system. Uh, I love it. Okay, I think we're good. I'm going to keep these items here. Actually, no, I'm going to keep these sky uh, tumble rock, tumble stones, in case we need to make some sort of uh, more feather balls. Or, with the iron chunks, we can now make the wing balls, I think? Alright, let us see what is next. What do you say, Akari? For now, I'll keep searching for those space-time distortions. You be careful with that! Oh, boy. And, what's she saying? It'd be helpful if you're map could show you? They can. Mine shows me all the time. Is this a hardy grain we're looking for? Yes, it is. We just need three of those. And we're basically just going to make a beeline for that, but what I should do is catch every species I find, just so we can get started on our Pokedex for it. So I'm assuming I've been spotted. I wonder if I could... I'm just going to try throwing a ball right now. I was going to say, I wonder if I could throw it a berry behind it, turn it around. Would that count as not being spotted? We'll find out, at least. It's going to tell us we got one of one caught. During daylight hours. Nice. Okay, and of course we were seen. Understandably so. Do we still get the basic uh, tumble stones, iron chunk? Oh, thunderstone! I have not been paying attention, by the way. Sometimes you can break open those, those uh, thingies, those ore outcropping things, and you can get evolution stones from those. Okay, let us actually do a little bit of a maneuver here. I don't have any oran berries. Well, we got plenty of cherry berries. Let's leave one this way. I don't want to do too much catching of new species until I'm ready to add them to the team, but I kind of want to see if I can at least get the catch without being spotted. No, I think you spotted me. Maybe not, though. Let's see if my luck holds out. We got two of three caught during the daylight hours. Yes, okay, we weren't spotted. Nice. Okay, let's stop catching stuff for the time being. Let's. What is this? Caster fern. Oh, that was for one of the new recipes I have. Hang on. Let me open up my crafting book here, crafting kit. What was that for? Uh, maybe we don't have it yet. Oh no, we do right here. Uh. What is this? The smoke bomb. When thrown to the ground, these balls produce a cloud of fine powder that reduce visibility. Keep wild Pokemon from noticing me. Those will be handy. But I'm going to need soft foot root to uh, get that as well. Alright, so time being, let's grab stuff along the way. This is a very fancy bridge. Oh, we got us a carnivine over here. 
I feel like that one might attack us. I'm going to try to creep up on it. And into the grass. I like that, doing that. They have no idea what to expect. Okay, let us throw another one of our cherry berries to try to draw it. Alright, if you're just going to make it that easy for me. Sneak up on it, sneak up on it. Oh, come on, man. Stay like that. No. Stop moving. Stop your moving. Oh, that barely caught. Or connected, I should say. Didn't necessarily catch yet. Hello, Psyduck. <laughs> what are you doing? Do you want to come with us? Look at this Psyduck. You know what? I like you. I'm going to not catch you. I'm going to let you have a berry. Here, come back here. Eat that. Do you want it? There you go. Alright. Oh, actually giving it food is part of our research, too. Yeah, it's going to fight us. Alright. So, although Geo... Well, you know what? I'm going to let Geodude take this lead. We have Fire Punch. We have not yet seen it in use. Do not one-hit KO us! One-hit KO us. Alright. That being the case... I'm glad I have revives. We're going to send in... We got to see... Oh, I did not yet teach you, X Scissor. No! Okay, we gotta use Cyndaquil to get uh, some flame wheels off anyway. Before I do that, I wanna revive Geodude so that we can make sure it gets experience for this. I gotta make sure to craft some more of our items too. I mean, so technically I could just go to the store and buy the items because I have tons of cash, but I love making the items myself. Now, is there anything we can do that would give us the speed advantage next turn? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we need to see flame wheels. Let's see a flame wheel. So level 17 carnivine. So again, we're still pretty decently over leveled here. Down goes the carnivine. Geodude has hit level 25. So we're going to make sure we are good on this. Go to our Pokedex. Check out Geodude. Whereabouts are you? So we have accomplished every single thing that we can with our one Geodude. A uh, number of times we've seen it use Rollout. That's about it. Everything else was about Wild Geodude, except for Evolving. So we're going to go into our Pokemon list and evolve our Geodude. Should I give... I'm going to do this before I forget. I'm going to teach you X-Scissor. <laughs> uh, let's replace Absorb. I don't think that's helping you that much. That is good. So we have to use Slash and X-Scissor for Krikatoon's Pokedex. All right. Moves have changed. Now, let's evolve our Geodude. Our first Graveler. The reason I'm looking forward to this is because today, my nephew and I did a lot of snow shoveling to get the driveway cleared out, and it was a lot of effort. I said to him, he also has this game, by the way. I said, do you want me to get uh, get you a Graveler as a thanks for that? Because when I trade it, of course, it'll evolve. And he's like, yeah, okay. But I wanted my first Graveler to be our one that we're using. All right, now that we have Graveler on the team... Uh, check summary. I guess there's really not much new to see here. Still have the same attacks, which is awesome. We gotta get some of them mastered, though. Alright, now let us go ahead. Let's check the moves, actually. Can you learn anything new that you've evolved? Rollout, tackle, iron defense. Everything's still the same. Alright. Uh, but let's go to our Pokedex and see what we need to do to uh, accomplish Graveler's uh, research. So we have to catch several. We have to catch heavy ones, defeat a bunch defeat them with fighting type moves. How many times have you seen it use Rock Slide? Interesting that it says we already have seen it three times. Oh wait, this might have been Wild Graveler. Never mind. Okay, so luckily we do have Rock Slide on our Graveler, so basically once I have completed our Graveler using those Rock Slides I can complete all the other stuff and then we'll be good for Graveler. Fair enough. All right, let us continue on the adventure. Since Graveler has leveled up, we got level 23 Cricketoon, who will take the lead to start powering up even further. Now, I do know I'm going to probably explore some of this area off screen to try to find the hardy grains and such, but hopefully nothing major happens between this episode and the next. Dodging is everything. Everything. When a wild Pokemon's lashing out at you with its moves, you dodge right out of the way. 
While you're dodging, their moves will whiz right by and not hit you. Just like that. So these are the Salacion Ruins. Now... What is... I remember the word Salacion. Is this... Wasn't Salacion City the breeding city? I think the ruins were the uh, where you could find the unknown based on how far the guy over by, you know, the east side of uh, Sinnoh was digging. Are those unknown symbols back there? Maybe. I'm Caliba of the Pearl Clan. Warden Caliba to you. Huh? Now would you look at that? You have a Celestica flute. You must be the one they say fell out of the space-time rift. That's right. That me. And so no one else has fallen. They're all saying I'm the only one. I see, I see. I've already heard about you. That you quelled Cleavor in his frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions, but I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. Hey, if you want to go back in time and do it, you are the Diamond Clan, right? Time is your whole thing. What you did is highly different from bullying a Pokemon into submission, after all. It was bullying other Pokemon! And you run about catching Pokemon up in those little balls you carry. I don't need any help from your sort. Or the Diamond Clan, for that matter. So you are Pearl, I guess? That young, that young lady, Arezu, offered to help. But associating with the Diamond Clan? It just won't do. Be on your way. There is much I must do, and I'd prefer not to be distracted any further. Alright, the plant head has spoken. I guess... Ah, oh, Chaz, how about you show me the strength that could quell even a frenzied lord? Gladly. A battle with you might let me experience even a fraction of the power the nobles wield. What a random battle request out of nowhere. Alright, let's go Volo. You've got two Pokemon from the looks of things. Leading off with a Togepi. I've already fought this guy in his Togepi. So, it is a fairy type which means X Scissor will not be very effective against it. So let's go with our Slash Attacks. Level 22, level 23, we're good. I think we're fine. Slash it up. Not a critical, but still decent. Draining Kiss doing hardly anything. Well, I mean, over a third, it looks like. Ooh, that got back a lot of HPs. Let's continue to slash things up, shall we? There it goes. Not even a critical needed. Okay, your next Pokemon is... Also, I noticed this they don't have switch and set style for this. You did. Oh, we resist that. Uh, but yeah, there's no switch or set, which is cool. Would you just stop bulldozing? Now it's going to be more powerful because it's not agile style. Okay, let us go with an X Scissor. Or can we take the speed priority? No, we can't. Okay, so let's go X Scissor. At least get that done for our Pokedex. Or at least get started on that. Oh, almost the KO. Would you stop? Strong bulldoze. That's going to slow you down, you fool. Ow. Cricket dude, no. Okay, so what else do we need to do for Pokedex? We need to see rock slides used. Kind of afraid of sending in a rock type versus a bulldozer, though. Uh, also, Luxio is kind of out. Also, Cyndaquil is kind of out. We do have Weasel, which I did not give Ice Punch to, although it can have it. Uh, Staravia might be the best. Let's go Staravia. And I gotta remember after this, to, well, after this episode, I'll remember to uh, mix up their moves there. So let us go with, we're gonna get to go twice if we start, and you know what, it's done in one hit anyway. Based on that uh, X scissor already, so get out of your gibble. This guy's got the rare stuff. Is he the one who had, who had Gumi? I think that was the uh, warden at... Cleavor's place. Oh my, you're quite adept at introducing, or sorry, instructing your Pokemon in battle. My goodness, that was fun. It was alright, you knocked out my Pokemon. Oh, but we just mastered a new move with our Staravia. Such prodigious strength. Now let me just heal up your Pokemon. Thanks. I was going to say, wasted my items. No deal. Well now, I think that settles it. I must ask for your help in retrieving the stolen wall fragment. With your skill, it should be a cinch. Wall fragment? I think I know what he's talking about. I did see it in the back there. Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillaged the Salacion ruins and made off with a fragment of the wall engravings. And those do look reminiscent of unknown. Uh, what is that? Something? No. Something? Oa? Oa? 
Huh, I don't know, I can't really make that out. Of course, we're missing a piece anyway. Have you not heard of the notorious Misfortunes? Who is this? Oh, wait, they're a trio of bandits that have hit even us Ginkgo Guild merchants more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I like to have, let me tell you. Mistress Calaba is doing everything she can to regain the fragment, but at 99 years old, she can only grow plants out of her back at an alarming rate. Yeah, you need help. So what do you say, kind sir? Why not help find the fragment for the warden? Oh, naturally, I'll be happy to lend you a hand. Those sisters... Those sisters... Okay, they are sisters. Swiped my wares, too, and I'm no ginkgo guild mer merchant if I take that lying down. And far be it for me to let them just get away with vandalizing the precious ruins of this region. You know, I did see the remains of a campfire near the Meyerlands camp. Perhaps worth checking out. I guess we know we're going to track down the shady bandits to... Is that what the uh, wet bandits became finally after sticky bandits? The shady bandits. To reclaim the wall fragment that they stole. I think I could do. Okay, campfire near the Meyerlands camp. So let's see if we can see what he's seeing about. So, yeah, our team is fully healed, which is good to note. We're going to make sure we're all taken care of. Uh, so, is he when he says Meyerland's camp, that means ours? Yeah, so there was uh, remains of a campfire near there. Let's head on that way. I also want to keep my eyes out. Keep my eyes out. I keep saying, what is that expression? I want to keep my eyes out for more hardy grains. That is going to be part of our research as well. What is that? Is that just like a really tall tree? See that in the grass? I want to check that out. Looks like it might be an item to pick up. Nope. Okay. Just a weird tree sticking out of the grass, which is really, really affecting our camera recording. I mean, it's even affecting my TV screen, so that's not just the TV recording or the camera recording straight from TV effect. So, we're looking for some sort of a campfire remains, which might be where exactly? Oh, I know I can activate... Never mind. I guess that's it. I, was gonna, I know I can activate the waypoints and stuff. I kind of like not doing that, but if that's going to show me exactly where to go, then I guess that's exactly where we're going to go. Because he said near... The Meyerlands camp. I just thought that's what that meant. We have us a another caster fern. Caster Troy. Do you know who that is? Have you ever seen the movie Face Off? That was alright. It was decent. Give me those berries. Bust them down, Cricketune. We're getting ourselves, well, apricorns and a spoiled one. Another caster fern. Give me that. We are 115 or 110. We're about 100 away now. We got ourselves a uh, tumblestone and an iron clunk. Okay. No, I'm not speaking too much. I'm keeping my eyes peeled for Pokemon. We got Paris over here. I think I read, too, in the Pokedex that Wild Parasect are in this area also. Has a wild Pikachu. I caught a couple of them already. They want to beat me up. Well, I don't want to fight right now. I'm on a mission. And I'm wishing to get it done try and poison powder on me so there's this campfire remains what can we find here clue wise I see a bunch of stumps that's probably where they sat it's a burned out campfire somebody must have been here that log those woods those woods that wood those logs don't look burned now who might you be not some stray traveler from the look of you who is this? these are the sister trios doesn't that one on the right seem to have somewhat similar hair to somebody? Can't quite place my, uh... Jupiter on it? I don't know. There's only one reason people go poking around out here in the middle of nowhere. You're after us three, aren't you? Well, you're not that far from the ruins, and it's kind of a tourist spot. Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly before we show this poor fool how wrong he was to assume he could ever beat us. No, I wonder, are these the, the uh, ancestors of Team Galactic's... Uh, lieutenants, I guess. Charm. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and all and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm. But you're not magically delicious, Clover. I thought thought you spotted a four-leaf clover. Well, I'll soon have you seeing double 
Four Krusties? I'm the middle sister, and I'm one clover you can't pick. I don't pick you anyway. Coin. Charm, clover, and coin. Hmm. Heads I win, and tails you lose. That's not fair, first of all. You've got no chance in this game of fortunes. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. Can I just beat you up now? We're the infamous bandit trio, the Miss Fortune Sisters, and your luck's just run out. Can I beat you up now? Let me handle the sisters. I only hurt them a little. Come on, Toxicroak. Let's douse this fool in poison. Well, little do you realize, we got so many super effectivities versus you. You only got the one Pokemon. Let's go, Toxicroak. I was going to say, is that a shiny? All right, Cricketoon leading the way, which is not perfect. Although we are resistant to its fighting attacks. Level 23. It's got Venoshock, which does a lot of damage. Uh, for Pokedex purposes, we can at least get off a Slash Attack. Or can we get two moves off? Yes, we can. Well, Agile Style, Aerial Ace, get some damage, and then we'll go for the Slash. We might get the Knockout with just Cricketoon. Maybe if this can hit hard enough. Ooh, so close. Venoshock's going to take us down. But look how close we came to that. At least that's one more point to our Pokedex, though. So going for Venoshocks means... I'm thinking Graveler is our best move. Although it has fighting attacks, or it has potential for fighting attacks. We do have the Mud Slap. But at this point, anything's probably going to take it out. Ow! Don't drop my defenses. So we get to go first. Uh, can we... We can't get two turns in a row. So let's go with a nice uh, guaranteed fire punch. See that in action. Once again! Boom. D actually, have I used that yet? I must have. Did I move the camera? Or is that fine? I think that's fine. I'm not fond of this outcome, but at least it's still better than plowing fields for the galaxy team. Hey! I just lent a Geodude for them to do that. Don't trash talk my Geodude's profession. <laughs> the galaxy team continues to spoil things for me, even after I've left. Take the blasted fragment and go. Just leave us alone. Yay, we got a wall fragment. I'm going to hang that in my den. A fragment that was once part of a stone panel in Slacy on Ruins. Its markings... It has markings carved on it that appear to be some kind of weird writing. At least it's not Braille. The weird writing on us made, it, made us think the stupid thing was some kind of treasure, but it turned out to be a worthless slab of junk. <laughs> All that effort for nothing. Tell me, why were you even seeking us out? What set you on this path? I wanted to help Ursaluna. Yeah, Calaba? Um, Calaba? I don't know. I want Ursaluna. Goodness, how selfless of you to go so far out of your way for the sake of another. Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. Hey, I thought of how long and hard about that. For some of us, simply surviving another day takes all that we have. And I've got a score to settle with the Galaxy team, which now includes you. Well, come at me. <laughs> you got Pokeballs on your hip? Do it. Remember what those ancient verses tell us. Why is it, in days of spring, beneath the soft caress of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits lashed by uncertainty? Oh. Your days are numbered. You're also numbered, Galaxy fool. Am I on a Galaxy quest? Where's Tim Allen? We're Sigourney Weaver. Return the Salacion Ruins thingy. Something's... Looked like something was looking at us for, uh, battle poipuses. Paris, no. Wait a minute. Paris, no. But I will take this mushroom. Thank you. Out of here. Alright, let's get back across this bridge, wherever it happened to be. Oh, I see it right over there. And I guess we can end off this episode by returning the wall fragment. That won't kick us off in a nice ten-minute, uh, dialogue cutscene, will it? I hardly doubt it hardly doubt it. I think that meant I don't doubt it. I think I just cursed myself. We'll find out in the next moment in this particular episode, because we're not done just yet. Alright, let's see what all this writing is all about, if I can make out what it says. Because it was pretty weird. Wait a minute! I just saw a thing. There we are. I was like, where are my revives? We gotta get Cricketune back up on his feet. And we gotta get Cricketune back up on his feet more stably. Potion away. And don't let me forget. Drop me a comment. Professor, don't forget to change up the moves after the episode is done. By you doing that, I'm guaranteed to remember. 
All right, Abola, we got that. Good work. Very good work indeed, Chaz. You got the fragment back safe and sound. It was actually really simple. I'm well aware of Calaba's reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old-fashioned, and so on. But she's given the Pearl Clan all she has ever since she was young. She lived her prime years here in the Hisui region, trusting in the guidance of Almighty Sinnoh. I don't think it's that she hates the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. Rather, I think simply she just loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyway, I do hope you're able to calm Ursa Luna's frenzy, Chaz. A raging Pokemon in the area definitely isn't good for business, I assure you. So will every section of Hisui have a noble, a frenzied noble, to calm down? Actually, I think they said frenzied Pokemon aren't just nobles, too. Other ones can be affected by the, uh, the lightning. Hi, Bieberl. What's going on, man? Ah, oh, so you've come to bother me again. Well, come as often as you'd like, but it won't change my mind. It might change her voice, though, because I forget what voice she had. Okay, I got the wall fragment. What? You went and retrieved the fragment from those bandits? Why go out of your way for like that for a complete stranger like me? That's what heroes do, ma'am. I guess you're that eager to calm her Saluna, hmm? That's right. If possible. No, I've done it before. I can do it again. And I know that I can actually use my Pokemon at certain points during a noble battle. I'll admit, I didn't expect anybody else to truly care for Ursaluna. Well then, let's see that wall fragment. Honestly, the most I care about Ursaluna is seeing it, because it sounds like a new species. And there we go. Good as new. All lives touch other lives to create... What is that? Something... A new and alive. <laughs> Let me read what it says. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, like, steal your thunder. All lives touch other things to create something new and alive. I see. I suppose it means helping people helping each other, like how you helped me retrieve the fragment. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I've truly understood what it means. Maybe this is Almighty Sinnoh's guidance? What is your name then, boy? That'll be Chaz, thank you. Professor, optional. I see. Chaz. L please let me your strength so that we may help Ursa Luna. It's true that Ursa Luna has become enraged, but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. You know, for some reason, I considered Ursa Luna more of a female name. But they said he. I think he will return to his normal state if we can just give him some medicine. Can I throw those bombs at him again? I could never bring myself to engage Pokemon in battle, but that's something I can rely on you for, am I right? I've beaten things up, yeah. Ursa Luna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please join me there when you're ready. Can do. Possibly in the next episode, because we are done for this episode. I am going to remember to move or change up the movesets. Thank you, folks, for watching today's episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. We're still having fun, still finding new areas, and like this, we've only been in a few small spots of Hisui as it is. I hope there's many more huge areas to check out along the way, but stay tuned to the channel as you see me find those areas and explore them thoroughly. If you have missed any episodes along the way, there is a link in the description to the full playlist which you can watch to see all the episodes up to this point with this episode, which if you enjoyed, throw a like down below by hitting that button. For future episodes, you can subscribe to the channel and turn on your bell button for notifications when the new videos are coming out. And, of course, if you want to go the extra mile and support me through sponsorship, you can click the join button and see what perks become available to you as our stories continue and the adventures roll on. Also, Instagram and Twitter are linked in the description. Feel free to check me out on those platforms as well. So that is that for today. I want to say once again, thank you folks for checking this episode out and watching and hopefully enjoying. Professor Chaz is signing off, and I will catch you next time.